Hola amigos, today I'm going to share with you a fish recipe. You know that in Spain we eat a lot of fish and that fish is one of my favorite, is monkfish, in Spanish is rape. This is, we, is known like an ugly fish because really it's ugly and also like the lobster for the poor people. It depends how you cook it, the texture can be like a lobster. If you haven't tried monkfish, I highly recommend it because it's a very mm, tasty and delicious fish. The recipe of today is from Galicia, that is in the northeast of Spain and it's very tasty and you know very easy and different way to eat fish and I highly recommend it you to make it. Hola amigos, hoy voy a compartir con ustedes una receta de pescado. En España se come muchísimo pescado y este es rape. La receta es de Galicia, del norteste de España, donde viene eh, para mí el mejor marisco y pescado del mundo. Welcome to my kitchen. This is Fatima. If that is your first time here, I welcome you. Here you will find recipes for my country of origin, Spain. If you like this type of recipe, please consider to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you will get notified when I upload a new video. I bought a loin, you know, a tail of the monkfish. If when you buy it does uh, have the membrane, you have to take it out. If not, ask the fishman to take out the membrane. This tail is around a pound just you know you make sure that it's clean and doesn't have any bones so, so what we do with our tail and we cut it in slices of like an inch two centimeters and you know that and i like to do like this to make like a, a loin a, tend, a tenderloin so i put all my fish in a bowl and now in a mortar I have like four, three or four uh, globs of garlic that I slice, some parsley, and we are going to do like what we call it in Spain, a majado, so we are going to mash everything, and of course I need some salt, and some oil, a little bit of oil. So I start to mash. To make a paste. I make a paste. If you don't have a mortar you can do it in a blender, no problem, but make a paste, you know, everything mix. So now what I'm going to do is I have the monkfish and I put that paste over and like marinate it for a little bit while our potatoes are cooking. So I put that here. I take out oh, and I just, you know, I like to do that with my hands because it's the only way you get all the parsley. Uh, while our monkfish is marinated, I'm going to put my potato that I peel it and I slice it in my pot. I'm going to boil in them. Here I have like five small potatoes that depend, you know, how how much you like potatoes and I have some onion that I just peel it and water it and I'm going to cover with water and put a bay leaf of course and a little bit of salt and I'm going to boil it for around 10 minutes so when it starts to boil I put the 10 minutes and now the potatoes are almost done but they are not done. So I'm going to put the mock fish in the water for like 4 minutes. So I 
four minutes in one side. So when the three minutes, four minutes pass by, I just turn it around, all my monkfish, so that will cook in the other side. You see how it's turning white? Oh, it's so, and it smells so far so good. So now I put the alarm again for three minutes. Three or four minutes, depend on the size of the monkfish. So pass by the time and our monkfish is done. So we just moving our pot and reserve it. And we put a pan with olive oil. I like to add a, lo a lot of olive oil because that is going to be on top of the monkfish and the potatoes. This is a half a cup and I'm just going to put a little bit more and I'm heat it up. We discard the onions and the water. We plated in the serving plate all the potatoes and the monkfish that is already cooked. Okay. When the oil is hot, we add like four or five or more um, garlic, depending if I like this dish with garlic. So uh, we fry the garlic until it's brownish. So you see how our, uh, so I turn it off. And now I add pimenton dulce, sweet paprika. I put, you know, I'm generous with that. One a spoon and just move it around the so now what I do is to pour all my oil with the sweet paprika on top of my dish for that I said that I like to put oil because you know the potatoes get soaked in that oil and it's really, really amazing. It smells, you know, like heaven now. You see how amazing it looks like? Finish. That look amazing, honestly. I really hardly recommend that dish. It's so unique and the texture of the monkfish is white fish so it looks like a lobster i mean if you haven't tried and on and you know where i live it's not a very expensive fish and i found it for the quality that you get i highly recommend to get it uh, let's go to try it because the potatoes with that paprika and you know some a little bit of monkfish and it's like mm. It's so good. So you see how it's telling you that it's a white fish, it's really tender and it's really so good. So this is the recipe of this week. I hope you like it and really I highly recommend it to make it. It's easy and it's so tasty that you will be in heaven. If you haven't subscribed or you like this type of recipe, please subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified when I upload another new video. Thank you so much for being here and I see you next week. Bye bye.